preferences. Como Forbes Liz Den shows a growing business of consignment couture. Yeah. What? Okay, so these are Kate Spade bags. She's obsessed with high-end fashion. Vintage Ferragamo. Lika Schindler is one savvy shopper. And then we got a brand new Kate Spade. But she scoffs at paying full price. And Chanel glasses. Everything here was found at a thrift store. Love and Taylor. At one time, Lika had no problem paying five to six thousand dollars for a designer label. I wouldn't even blink at dropping money on a Chanel bag, but now I would never ever do it. <laughs> but that's changed since Lika opened her own business, making and selling jewelry, a move she made during a slowing economy that forced her to cut back. Now she lives for the thrill of discovering a deal whether for her, her boys, or fiancé. To find good things, you have to search through everything. Like, absolutely everything. Everyone doesn't have time to go to thrift stores looking for that treasured piece. So that's why consignment shops like this one in Ballard are in the business of making it easy and convenient for folks to find a one-of-a-kind item. This is a Tory Burch. Tanya Bernadette took a risk opening this shop during the recession. Everyone thought I was crazy. But she says the tough economy probably helped her business have a 60% jolt in sales over the last year and a half. And they're like, I only want to spend $100 and I want three pieces but they don't want something that is cheap and low quality. For what some consider not so cool is now a booming business. People just want to look put together and not waste their money anymore. In Seattle, Elizabeth Din, Como 4 News.